Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down hope you are doing well. I hope you are feeling great. I hope you're feeling encouraged. I hope you are feeling blessed. Today, I want to talk about your armor. I titled this podcast, Are You Armored Up? Because a safety hat will not do it. Have you ever been working on something that you know you are spirit led to do. You are putting in the time, the effort, the energy, the money, your entire focus and being to be able to make this thing happen and come become reality because you are focused on creating the life that you want for yourself, the life that you, want, that you want for your family. But the biggest motivation at this point is creating a life that I want and see myself being able to live. Being able to live happy, in peace, financial security, health, and wellness because it's not all just about the money it's about being healthy being happy and being able to have peace on a daily and consistent basis that's part of creating the life that you want creating the life that i want and in creating that and working towards creating that sometimes challenges pop up unexpectedly. Things that you do not foresee happening, things that you don't prepare for, things that you don't even know how to prepare for because in no way, shape, form, or fashion would you ever, ever have even imagined it popping up in the first place. I'm talking about those sorts of things. When you lose a job unexpectedly or there is a debt that pops up unexpectedly or there's a death in the family unfortunately that pops up unexpectedly there are so many things that happen in life unexpectedly that you don't even have time to prepare for and when i say are you armored up i'm referring to your spiritual self-care now this is not a podcast to try to Um, get you to believe or convince you of anything I'm just telling you what I know from my experience and I believe in God I'm a I am a woman of God I am not afraid to say it I'm not afraid to show it I'm not afraid to tell it I am a woman of God. I 
am who I am because he created me to be who I am. I am where I am. I have accomplished the things that I have accomplished and have not yet accomplished everything that I have set out to accomplish. But I know that with my father in heaven, with his help, I will be able to do so. There was some unexpected news, some, unexpe uh, some unexpected financial news that I received. And when I say this, I'm not even talking about the positive, unexpected financial news. I'm talking about an unexpected, negative financial news that I would never have imagined or been able to plan for. And when you receive these unexpected pieces of information and news that pop up, how do you react? What is your first response? Is your first response to panic, to lose control, and to just say, you know what, this is exactly why I should not have started working on this dream. This is exactly why I should not have started trying to pursue these things. This is exactly why I just need to quit and give up because I'm tired of this. I'm frustrated. I can't do this. Or do you? Buckle down because you understand when you are walking in purpose and walking with purpose that you are going to have challenges. You are going to have setbacks because the devil wants nothing more than for you to stop you right in your tracks and make you go the other way because he sees what's in your future. And you cannot allow him to win and make you feel discouraged, make you feel as if you are heading in the wrong direction. Because most of the time when these things pop up, it means you're headed in the right direction. He can't take what does not belong to him in the first place. So when you are armored up, you already know what to do and where to go. It is not to go to your spouse. It is not to go to your parents. It is not to go to Google. It is to go to the one and only father that can help you, direct you, guide you in those moments. The one and only father who provides you that armor, that invisible spiritual armor that comes directly from him. That is the connection that you must have when you are moving towards creating a life that you want. You have to know who you are, what you're doing, who's on your team, and how you can navigate these rocky roads when they happen, where your faith comes from, where your peace comes from, where your calmness comes from. These are ultimately things that God provides you. No person, no things, no business, no blog, no nothing can provide any, no money. Nothing can provide those things for you. So when challenges pop up, and hardships pop up, especially when they are unexpected, your armor has to already be in place. You can't be running around trying to fit, look for it because at that point it's too late. You have to already be prepared. That's just like when there's a storm coming and you watch the news and they give you all these clues about making sure you're prepared and making sure you have this and making sure you have that. But at the end of the day, you know that storms are part of nature. So it's one of those things that you have to make sure that you prepare for, even if the news channel hadn't told you that a storm is coming. You make sure that you have flashlights. 
you make sure that you have batteries. By the way, thank you, Daddy, for making sure that I always have flashlights and batteries. Side note, moving back to what we're saying. But you make sure that you have flashlights. You make sure that you have batteries. You make sure that you have water and, and certain things that you just make sure that you have anyway. It works the same way with your spiritual body armor. You stay armored up so that when these things happen, you are already mentally, emotionally, and physically prepared to get ready for battle. And know that no, I'm not turning around. No, I'm not starting over. No, I'm not sitting down. And you know what? Sometimes you may have to take a sit down for a little bit. But a sit down don't mean lay down. A sit down don't mean go to sleep. A sit down means just that. We sit down, get our mental, emotional, physical mindset, get it all back together and get it back intact. And then you get ready to get back, get right back up, get back in the game, get back in the race and get back moving. You figure it out step by step second by second, minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, month by month, year by year. Be armored up, be ready. You still got this, even with the challenges that pop up. When you want something bad enough and you know that you are ready for a change, you're looking for something different, you know you have to do something different in order to get something different, you do the something different. You be the something different. Don't get discouraged. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. You still got it. You can still do it. Talk positively to yourself. Speak positively to yourself. Even Sit down and do some recordings on a day that you feel good. Record some positive message to, messages to yourself. And then when you get in those moments, you have those days, you listen to those positive recordings to feed life back into you. That's what you do. Armor yourself with the word of God. You armor yourself with your gospel music, if that's what helps you. You armor yourself with words of positivity and encouragement. You armor yourself by listening to your faith leader, who, whomever that may be, at whatever church you attend. If you're not physically going to the church, you can actually access all types of uh, wonderful faith leaders on YouTube. Mine is on YouTube. Bishop Bronner from Word of Faith located in Georgia. It's wonderful. Trust me. Check him out. He knows his stuff. And I feel empowered and motivated and encouraged every time I listen to it. So I encourage, and that doesn't mean that you have to listen to him, but you find your faith leader, get that dose of feel good, speed, feed your spiritual soul. And not just feed your, your own spiritual soul. You feed your children's spiritual soul. You teach them how to feed their own spiritual soul. Because there are so many things that these children are exposed to, are subjected to, have to deal with. The bullying. Where children are committing suicide. Because of bullying that's happening in schools. So we have to teach our children how to be armored up. Instill the beauty in them. Remind them of how wonderful they are, how wonderfully created they were. Teach them the power of self-care and self-love at an early age because it matters. Teach them the power of being connected to the highest power at an early age. Teach them how to pray for themselves because you, unfortunately, will all, not always be there to protect them. 
I tell my son that all the time. I won't always, mommy will not always be there to protect you. Daddy will not always be there to protect you. But there's a father that you have in heaven who will always and forever be there to protect you. And he knows that. We've, t we've taught him how to talk to him, how to pray, how to communicate his thoughts, his feelings, his ideas. You, that is the biggest gift that you can give your children. The power to be able to advocate for themselves, to pray for themselves, to encourage themselves, to do these things for themselves. Not just relying on mommy and daddy to do it, but teaching them how to do it themselves. So with you armoring your kids up, you armoring yourself up, you can take on anything because nothing, and I mean nothing, is too big for my God, for your God. I hope you got something out of that. I pray that you got something out of that. I pray that you were encouraged. I pray that you continue to keep those feet moving towards creating that life, towards creating that ultimate dream, that ultimate life that you want. You can do this. You got this. I'm rooting you on. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in me. We're going to do this thing together. Until next time, color your thoughts beautiful. Mm -hmm.